This is an introduction to routine horse treatment using pulsed electromagnetic therapy. Wow, that's good. So then I'll bring it down. This one. Okay. Oh, yes, good. I'm going to eat it. Do you want to eat that? <laughs> Is it okay if I go around and check your neck? All right, here we go. The basics of treating horses. Number one, be easy. Don't rush. Don't trap the horse. If the horse feels like it's uncomfortable, most of the time they'll just step away. Don't chase them. And in general, you'll find that most horses enjoy the PEMF treatment experience. We always start with an introduction, which is introduce yourself first, because remember, you're going to be new to the horse, and you should let the horse smell you if you don't already know it. Secondly, at a minimum, the probe or the treatment device is going to be new. I usually keep the machine on during the introduction because I want to avoid surprising the horse later because and generally I'll place the probe over my arm and slide it down so that I, the horse won't feel like I'm approaching it with something strange or new that it should be scared of and I always allow the horse to smell the probe which usually smells like other horses which creates a tendency for the horse to relax here. I always try to move it in slow because I've just changed the. Can you hear the sound? Yeah, yeah, see, this is a stress area right here in the withers. Mm -hmm. Okay, sweetie. Mm -hmm. When using the probe on the horse, you always want to move the probe in slowly because A, you want to avoid surprise and you want to be able to observe the horse for signs of discomfort. If you do see discomfort, retreat, turn the machine down and try again. There's no reason to make the horse uncomfortable because when you use the machine, discomfort decreases quickly. Here. You're treating a race horse, little runs from here. Okay. The PEMF flutter scan is a reliable and simple technique. The PEMF probe causes tissues to flutter where there's tissue trauma. Generally you can easily detect this with your hands and to use the flutter technique you simply target the flutter areas and distribute the time allowance among those areas. We recommend 10 minutes per side of the animal and 20 minutes for the entire horse. We suggest the, that you target the neck, back and legs with this time allotment. Mm. Yummy. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> the leg treatment process is very simple. Form the loop into a figure eight and then flop wrap each joint. What you're listening for is a deep sound which suggests that the joint is absorbing more energy. And you, while you treat all of the joints, spend more time on those that seem to absorb more. When the horse withdraws, it means there's discomfort. Don't chase. Let the horse escape. Turn the machine down and start over.
When working with an area where you experience discomfort, you'll need to spend just a little more time at a lower intensity, but gradually you'll be able to turn up the, the intensity until the discomfort resolves. Well, that she happens. Doesn't, she doesn't need to add to her list of the... Upper cervical. PEMF treatment is a relaxing experience for most animals. This horse, incidentally, has a history of resistance to the point of self-injury. As you can see in the video, PEMF time is happy time. Always remember the basics. Be easy. Don't rush. Don't trap. Remember to flutter scan, work the horse, look for areas that respond and visit the legs, and for the most part, horses like it.